This is the sixth tutorial in the series of Final Cut Pro Beginners Lessons. In this lesson, you're going to look at adding titles. The course material and the completed Final Cut Pro library are downloadable. Check in the description below and click the eye above to access Lesson 1 that has the details on how to download. If you've been keeping up with me in previous lessons, use your My First Edit project or follow from here with the completed lesson number 5. You can double click that project to open it in the timeline. Final Cut Pro ships with many built-in titles and you can purchase more titles and even access a number for free. They're known as plugins. In this exercise I'll show you a couple and you'll be able to try others for yourself. Titles are selected from the T button at the top left corner of the Final Cut Pro window. When you click on the button, you'll see two headings, Titles and Generators. I'll show you Titles now. Generators are pre-animated clips similar to Titles. We'll have a look at those in a moment. Click the Exposure arrow to the left of the Titles heading. You'll see in the sidebar a number of subheadings. There's more displayed here than you'll have, as I have many extra titles that I've purchased over time. Find Build In, Build Out in the sidebar and drag Energetic above the 119 clip in the timeline. Place your playhead over the title and you'll see the word title in white showing in the viewer. In the inspector, click the text button. Change the word title to The Winner. Look further down the inspector and drag the size slider to the right to about 150 or click in the rectangle and type 150. You can change fonts and other text effects here too. Scroll further down the inspector and you'll see Face. Hover to the right and Show appears. Click Show. Click the white rectangle and the colour selector wheel appears. Click Red in the wheel. At the bottom of the colour wheel, you'll see the colour you've selected in a larger square. Drag that inside the white squares to the right. That colour is now saved for the future and it'll be available for you to use at any other time and in fact in any other application, not just Final Cut Pro. Right click in the viewer window and select Transform. Drag the words in the viewer to the right. Click in the timeline just to the left of title. Press the spacebar. You'll see the animation of the title as it appears. At the top of the inspector, click the button with the T in the white square. You'll see that Build In is Awaken. Click the double arrows and select Bounce. And you could try others as well. Play again in the timeline. You've changed the beginning effect. And you could do that with the ending build out. We'll use one more title to introduce our video. In the Build In, Build Out titles, select Mondrian. Drag it to the beginning of the timeline and insert it before number 4 clip in the main storyline. Skim over the titles until you see all of the words. Make sure that Transform is disabled in the viewer. It shouldn't be blue. Click on Subtitle and in the inspector replace with 18 footers. Do the same to replace title with race, information with day, description with Sydney Harbour, and delete more because we're not going to use that. And move day up and line it up with race. Any other words can be moved as well if you want. Currently the title has a black background because it's got nothing below it. If you were to drag the title above number 4 clip, you'd see that in the background. Drag it back into its original position at the head of the video. And it's playing too long, so let's shorten it from the right edge. Next, I'll show you some generators. Move back up to the Titles button at the top of the Final Cut Pro window. Disable the Exposure arrow next to Title heading and expose the arrow to the left of Generators. Scroll down in the sidebar until you see Textures and select Paper in the browser. Place the playhead in the timeline and press the Q key. The texture generator will appear as a connected clip above the main storyline. 
drag it below the title clip and shorten it to suit. Go to the inspector and select watercolour 2. Select the colour rectangle and pick a light blue. Increase the tint slider all the way to the right. Play from the beginning of the timeline and as the number 4 clip appears, it tends to jump into view. You'll look at adding a transition here in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and press the bell.